All right, our first question comes from Noah. Go ahead and ask your question. Uh, Veronica, obviously a tough way to end it, but when you look back on this season and, and you know, the highs and the lows, uh, what stands out to you uh, from this year for you guys? Um, I would just say the fight and the resilience that we had. I think this year was hard for every athlete, for, ev for everyone in the country. Um, no one could have expected it. And I think the way we all just adapted and we bought in to um, what we needed to do, I think, took a lot of sacrifice this year, um, just being here. And so I'm really proud of us, really proud of the fight. And just um, I just feel like we grew so close and it was a lot of fun. Our next question comes from Shannon Ryan with the Chicago Tribune. Go ahead and ask your question. Okay, thanks a lot, Veronica. Um, what what did you see change after you guys took that big lead in the first quarter in particular, and then after halftime? Um, I I don't know. I feel like they started hitting shots, and ours weren't dropping in the same way. I think we had the same fight. We we wanted it still. It's just things started going their way. Calls started going their way, and um, I don't know. I guess it's just tough. Ran out of gas. On, it seemed like. Our next question comes from Benjamin. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Veronica. Benjamin with the Daily Northwestern. Um, yeah. When you guys get out to that big lead early on, um, do you think you maybe just sort of got a little bit uh, tenacious or passive uh, with the ball on the offensive end and that maybe led let them back in? Um, it's possible. I honestly would say it was more just we weren't connecting in the same way. I think we talked about not getting complacent. We talked about how that they they're Louisville. I mean, it's not over. We knew it wasn't over. And I don't think it was necessarily that. But I don't know. Things just weren't clicking in the same way. And um, it started working for them. I mean, they started hitting shots that they weren't hitting in the first half. And um, I don't know. I think rebounding was a huge factor for us. And that's kind of been that way all year and free throws. And so just connecting on those little things is something that um, was, a, was a difference maker. Our next question comes from Cheryl. Go ahead. This is Cheryl Reese now from WBEZ Radio in Chicago. Veronica, what has it been like the whole season? You dealt with COVID. You dealt with all sorts of schedule issues and you do get to the, to the tournament, but what, what is, what's the experience been like? It's been hard. I mean, it's definitely not easy. You're, you're around each other 24 seven and obviously that's a blessing, but you really, the rules are strict. I mean, it's not normal college. You're not going to class. You're not able to see people from other teams, um, your friends, your family. You're really in that bubble. And that's a lot emotionally um, and mentally. It's just tough. And I think, we really relied on each other and our, on our coaches and um, to kind of get through it, push through it. And at the end of the day, we knew what it was like to not be playing in March last year. And um, we knew what that feeling was like, and we pushed through and there's a reason it was worth it. Um, playing in this tournament now, it's great. It's awesome. It's a feeling that we all were so happy to be here for. So I don't know. It was tough. It was hard, but at the end of the day, it was worth it. Our next question comes from Leah. Unmute your microphone and ask your question. Hi, Veronica. This is Leo Simakopoulos from Inside and You. You know, now having the opportunity to make it to the tournament, play on such a big stage, you having the chance to come back next year, what do you think you've learned the most from this this week? Um, I think there's a lot of lessons this week. I think um, at the end of the day, hard work and effort is what it comes down to. I think a lot of people underestimate Northwestern. I think a lot of people underestimate the Big Ten and we're happy to be proving people wrong. And I think we made a statement tonight and we let up and I don't really necessarily think credit to Louisville. They're a great team, but I don't really think it was anything that they did. It was more on us. And um, I don't know. I just feel like we've learned that we're capable and we're, we have a lot of potential and um, we belong here. We have time for a few more questions for the student athlete. Please use your raise hand function. If you'd like to ask a question, the next one comes from Noah. Go ahead. Veronica Noah Kaufman, uh, WNUR Sports. You mentioned uh, some of those little things that you guys uh, weren't able to really do down the stretch of the second half. See, like a problem that has cropped up at times uh, over the course of this season, maybe against Indiana, Rutgers, uh, other games early in the year. Headed into the offseason, what do you guys need to do to be able to work on that and, and make sure it doesn't happen uh, down the stretch against good teams? Mm -hmm. All those things that we can control. I mean, the free throws, we've seen it all year, myself included. It's just... 
it's such an easy thing that gets overlooked sometimes. And I think um, just knocking those out, knocking those down at a higher clip will be huge for us. Um, rebounding, we're, we're not the biggest. I don't think we'll ever really be the biggest, but getting on the boards, it will be huge for us. And um, I think we have a team full of talent and hard workers. So there's not a doubt in my mind that we'll be back. It's just getting those little things um, done from beginning to end. We've seen it in the season and um, we hate for it to come down to that. But I think just keying on on that stuff and we have a long off, scene, off season ahead of us. So we're excited. Our next question comes from Benjamin. Go ahead. Sure. Um, yeah, Veronica, in your mind, what do you think the legacy will be from this senior class, especially on um, players like you and Sydney and Courtney Shaw, uh, in particular, Jordan Hamilton and Lindsey Pulliam? Mm -hmm. I mean, that class left just such a mark on Northwestern as a school um, and the athletics program, but really on this team. I think the second I set foot onto campus, they made me feel like I was at home. And I don't know, they're my best friends or my sisters. I couldn't have asked for a better group. Um, and each one brought something different. I mean, Jordan and Lindsay, Hoopers, through and through, leaders, all the above, and Lauren and Brooke the same. Like there's, they just bring people together. Brooke Peichel, someone that everyone on the team wants to be around. She's such a leader on and off the court. And I think obviously she doesn't get the recognition um, as much of it as other two or other three, but I think she really is a crucial factor to this team. And she's just someone that everyone wants to be around. And same with Lauren Satterwhite. They just have such contagious personalities. And um, Lindsay and Jordan, I mean, you've seen their mark um, on the stat sheet, but really off the court too. I think they just really brought this team together and um, they made us who we are for sure. Are there any additional questions at this time? Seeing none, thank you, Veronica, for your time. Congratulations on a great season and hope to see you here again next year. Thank you. That's it for this post game.